Hey guys, Larry the tractor guy here. Hey, we're out this morning, got a customer that's got an 8335R here, and he's getting some regeneration codes and uh, basically derated the power on his tractor and not wanting to do an exhaust clean. And it's gotten into a high state, exhaust soot state, so it will not do a parked regen as well. And uh, so, man, it, it's pretty nice out here this morning, about 77 degrees. We had a little cool front move in last night. And, uh, man, if you can see the mountains back in the background, it is super, super nice. We've got a little breeze out of the north. And uh, we're going to dive into this, see if we can get this guy going. He's trying to get ground worked here. He's using a Landall disc here. And looks like it's doing a really good job of cleaning this field up. And uh, this customer has a lot of cattle that he grazes out on wheat so he's wanting to get in here and get this ground worked and hopefully hopefully get a rain on it here pretty quick and be able to get in here and, and uh, sow some wheat for wheat pasture uh, so i'm gonna show you real quick i <clears throat> made a live connection here on the 8335r and uh, i've got service advisor pulled up here and we're looking at uh, some of these codes that it had and so one thing that that really sets a red flag up for me is the calculated soot level is moderately high so i went into test and went into show you real quick went down to the regeneration source identification test okay and so when i clicked on that go ahead and hit okay it came up with fuel dosing active regeneration fault okay and so the last four it gives you the last four aborted regenerations and they were all to do with fuel dosing okay so go back to my codes and one of the things that sticks out to me is this fuel dosing inlet pressure signal extremely low okay and then also fuel dosing inlet sensor desired an actual mismatch okay and so i kind of like to start by checking the fuel dosing pressure okay and so we're going to hook up a gauge and we're going to run down through these diagnostics here uh, using this ECU 3480.01 fuel dosing inlet pressure signal extremely low what that's going to do for us is basically we're going to test this fuel dosing pump and see what the pressure the output pressure of that pump and we're going to compare basically compare the pressure on that pump with a manual gauge as opposed to looking at it through the engine controller and the connection using service advisor i'll show you real quick what we're doing here <clears throat> so i'm going to go ahead and use my digital gauge here and we're going to check that pressure at the air bleed off on the fuel dosing pump so this is the fuel dosing pump here we're going to check the pressure of that on the bleed off side of the fuel dosing pump so there is a line here i've got my fitting in there now but there's a line that comes off here and goes over to the bleed off valve which essentially goes back to return okay so we're going to test that pressure right there and you can do that using service advisor going in and doing a fuel dosing pressure test so we're going to get everything hooked up and check that out real quick and if you don't quite understand what fuel dosing means so fuel dosing basically when the tractor just a quick short uh terms on that is when this tractor goes in to do an exhaust reburn it uses a fuel dosing system okay so it uses a fuel dosing pump and the fuel dosing valve and then there is an injector in that dpf filter there okay so it injects a certain amount of fuel into that into that exhaust filter to heat it up super hot okay so that it can do a clean um, you know basically burn all the raw fuel particulates out of that filter okay and that's kind of a short term of that i mean there's a lot more to it than that but we won't get into that today but but if you do have a low fuel dosing pressure then it will not complete an exhaust clean okay and as a result of not completing a auto exhaust clean then it puts the tractor into a power d rate mode
okay and then when you're in that power d rate mode <clears throat> if you keep running the tractor it will eventually shut the tractor down okay and so it's pretty critical that we get that fixed today and so we're going to hook up we'll show you what that looks like here in just a few minutes we're looking at this fuel dosing pressure on this 8335r okay and when we go into that ecu 3480.01 fuel dosing inlet pressure signal extremely low test there's about 18 steps here in the diagnostics okay and so first thing i've done is verified that i didn't have any fuel leaks verified the filters uh did not change the filters because the filters are only they've only got about a hundred hours on the filters so i'm not really a hundred percent that i would have a filter restricted but we will look into that and see where we're at with that so i got down to step number three here and so we're going to on step number three actually check the mechanical operation of the fuel dosing pump okay and so i've went into my test using service advisor and initiated through diagnostics and then through tests and initiated the fuel dosing pump diagnostic test which will turn the pump on okay and i'm reading the pressure there okay in that test and it's showing that it's minus 0 0.6 psi okay so if i go back to my diagnostics okay get back over there okay in diagnostics okay i can look at that using service advisor there too and it's reading exactly the same minus 0 0.6 psi that's at step number three under that 3480.01 fuel dosing inlet pressure code what i've done here i'll show you real quick we've plugged our gauge our digital sensor into the air bleed port okay coming off of the fuel dosing pump here you can see i've got my elbow fitting and my sensor plugged in and if you don't have one of these and you're out in the field working man it is really handy i really love this digital gauge um, i don't always rely on it 100 percent, but it is pretty nice and and i've got my live connection made i've got a cord running up into the tractor got my service advisor connection made so we're looking at that pressure here on this digital handheld device here too and it's reading almost exactly the same 0.5 Okay, so in service advisor, it says it should be within five PSI of one another, okay? Well, I'm expecting to see pressure there and we're not seeing any, okay? So we're gonna move on to the next step here and uh, stay tuned and we'll check back with you here in a few. So what I believe is, is that we have a fuel dosing pump problem, okay? So a fuel dosing pump is probably failed internally and not pumping enough pressure to do our exhaust clean okay so we're going to go ahead and continue on with replacing that fuel dosing pump okay and then checking our pressure again and verifying our problem and then we'll go ahead and initiate a service regen and i like to do that when we when we initiate that service regen go in and look at the fuel dosing pressure during regeneration and we can do that through readings and, and pull some of those data points over there that we want to look at in regards to fuel dosing pressure. So we went ahead and removed our fuel dosing pump. I want to go ahead and refer to step number seven that was in service advisor about the fuel dosing pump. And what they wanted us to do in step number seven was to remove the fuel dosing pump and check the O-ring, okay? And so we've got that set in there. This is the O-ring that they're referring to here in Service Advisor to check. Um, I don't know that I've ever found one of those O-rings damaged in any way. And uh, so that's why I was a little reluctant to think that I had an O-ring problem. And then I'm also a little bit reluctant to think that I've got a fuel filter issue because the filters only have about 100 hours on them and we don't have any other fuel uh, pressure codes on the tractor so we're going to go ahead and continue on with replacing this fuel dosing pump okay so that is the fuel dosing pump housing there okay and i've got a new pump on the truck 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and install that new pump and then we'll run our pressure test again. We've got our new fuel dosing pump installed here for our fuel dosing system, which is uh, pretty uh, important to have a good fuel dosing pressure doing an exhaust clean on one of these ADAR tractors. And as you can see, I've got my pressure transducer installed again. I've got my cable running around over to my handheld gauge, digital gauge, okay? I've got my service advisor connection made and we're gonna go ahead and initiate a fuel dosing pump pressure test. Okay, that's uh, turned our fuel dosing pump on. Now we're reading about 112, 112 PSI. Okay, so that puts our pressure back in spec. And then I'm gonna verify, the, go ahead and verify the sensor. So we're reading about the same, about 111, 112 PSI there. Kind of moving around a little bit, 108, 109, 110. Okay, so basically our pressure switch in the control valve for the fuel dosing system seems to be reading pretty close. At step number four in service advisor, checking that pressure, as you can see, it's back in spec now, okay? So we should be reading somewhere between 62 and 130 PSI, okay? So we're right there, <clears throat> right there between that, around about 100 PSI. We're reading that pressure here on this control valve, which is right here by the, the uh, fuel dosing pump, okay? And uh, we're looking at that PSI here on this sensor. So by running that test and using service advisor at the same time, we're kind of verifying that our control valve pressure sensor here is seeing the same pressure as service advisor, which is in pretty important when, when it's going into a regen on this tractor. So we're gonna go ahead and connect our air bleed line back up here and go ahead and put everything back together. And now we're gonna have to run a service regen on this tractor because it's went into a, a uh, severe high soot load on the exhaust filter. And so we have to initiate a service regen using service advisor, okay? And when we get that going, we'll monitor these data points looking at fuel dosing, fuel dosing pressure, and then we'll also look at the uh, soot load and the, and the fuel time-based load, and we'll look at some of those data points as we're running this service regen. I went ahead and cleared all of my fault codes, and you can see that the ECU 156931 and the ECU 3719.16 came back as active, okay? Okay, that's because of our calculated soot level being moderately high, okay? And that's gonna continue to stay there and stay active until we do either a sparked regen or a service regen. Okay, so we're gonna check that out in a few minutes and get that going here. Just wanted you to see um, that those codes will not go away until we physically go in and perform a exhaust clean. Guys, I wanted to point something else out real quick too after um, installing the bleed off line back on the fuel dosing pump. Okay, so if you look at my pressure reading now, if you can see that it's right around 102, 103, Okay, that's after installing the bleed off line back and removing my gauge. Okay, reason being that that pressure is about four to five PSI lower than what it was when I had my gauge hooked up is because I'll show you real quick, something to keep in mind. So this fitting right here, this is our bleed off line coming out of that fuel dosing pump housing, going back to our return circuit, okay? So right here, this fitting, there is a tiny orifice in that fitting right there, okay? And with that orifice being in the circuit now, we're relieving some of that pressure off of that fuel dosing circuit, sort of acting somewhat kind of like a kind of like a pressure relief valve, sort of, uh, but it's just an orifice reducing that pressure down. So that's why we see a little bit of a drop in pressure after installing the bleed off line back on the tractor and back to the return there off of the fuel dosing pump. So we've got the 8335 tractor sitting there running and warming up to do this 
exhaust clean. I want to show you on the display here. So if you're at your home page here, you go to your power status, engine power status here. Check it, okay? It is in auto, which you want to leave your exhaust clean in auto all the time. But if you notice, the parked exhaust clean is grayed out there where I cannot, can't click on that to do an exhaust clean. Uh, that is because it has gotten to a critical enough state on the soot load in the exhaust filter that we do have to initiate a service regen using service advisor. So I just wanted you to see that real quick. So we're gonna continue on. It's taken us about 30 minutes to complete the service regen. The tractor just went to idle on its own, okay? Still got service advisor connected here. Our DPF soot load fuel based has went to zero. Our DPF soot load time based has went to zero. Okay, everything's cooling back down. Soot level says not needed, okay? And so we've basically completed our service regen, um, our fuel dosing <clears throat> inlet and outlet pressure uh, was normal, okay? And in a normal range. And so we've got that completed and everything looks good. So we're gonna let this engine cool down real quick for a little bit. And uh, we'll go out here and run this uh, Landall disc for just a little bit uh, at the customer's request to make sure that everything looks good and running normal. Looks like it's doing a super nice job. Tractor's running great, got plenty of power, got rid of all of our exhaust clean codes. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and return this tractor back to the customer um, so he can get his ground worked here, get ready to plant some early wheat for grazing cattle on. And uh, hopefully we get some rain here pretty soon maybe this weekend a uh, couple of days uh, it'd be nice to get some rain and have a good uh, have good moisture to sow wheat appreciate you guys watching uh, the videos and hope some of the uh, tricks and tips have helped you out along the way and uh, larry the tractor guy signing out hey guys check out larry the tractor guy videos here other videos here subscribe here and buy all your john deere parts here We'll make it work. I think we're gonna have to make it work. We'll make it work. Come on, let's go. <laughs> we need to make you need some bloopers. Y'all already burning me out. Some bloopers. He's sitting in the sun over here, man. Everybody.